Hi, this is Chris from Strigoi, and I'm here to talk about the lyrical themes that are present in our debut album, Abandon All Faith, that will be released through Nuclear Blast Records. Everybody's had people in their lives that promise them the world um, and then just drain the life out of them and uh, that's essentially what that song is about uh, particularly through uh, music there are certain people that um, I'm glad um, that are no longer in my life That was actually bore out of researching Strigoi as a word when um, when Greg mentioned he wanted to call the project that that we were doing, um, I started to look into it and there was a serial killer um, in Eastern Europe that the locals named the Strigoi simply because his crimes were so horrific and what interested me most was the old adage of the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree because um, subsequently after his uh, execution for these crimes and he constantly said that um, it wasn't his fault uh, his father fell from a train although some surmised that he was pushed and when they had to ID the body um, it flagged up a cold case and lo and behold it was his father in the 1930s were committing similar crimes um, I don't know, that was just a starting point, I mean it morphed into, uh, into a whole new beast but that was where, that was the initial engagement um, that I found when researching the name Strigoi. It was during that period of, uh, well for, for those who are not English, um, England has had quite a turbulent political time over the last three years and um, just observing people's behaviour to each other via social media um, and physically and it just made me feel a bit ashamed of my home and where I live and where I've been brought up and um, I, I can't speak for Greg as to if he feels the same and he certainly did add a lot to that song but um, yeah it's a very unhappy feeling to feel that way when you're ashamed of where you come from and there's nothing really you can do about it. It was during the last uh, Valenfire European tour and uh, we had a day off in Amsterdam and Greg and I were looking for something to do and I found they had a medieval torture museum and uh, we'd already decided we were going to go and watch it in the evening because nobody's got any time to go to the cinema but uh, yeah so we just took a trip in there and just astonished at the length and the ingenuity um, human beings have gone to to inflict pain on other human beings purely because of a perceived difference in belief uh, it's absolutely remarkable and sickening and I remember at the time because uh, Greg we, we, we were just so involved in this exhibition and I said well that will be uh, that will be the next Paradise Lost album written then I never for a moment thought that it would end up as part of this <laughs> Dawn of the Father was the last song to be drafted and it's sort of a mixture of about three different lyrical ideas that I sent through um, that Greg put together. I think one of them was overtly about the uh, Jamestown Massacre, um, which I think is potentially where the title came from. but. Um, it's an interesting proposition. I think Greg did really well actually piecing all those together. But uh, if you just want to tag it under um, anti-religion, I think uh, you'd be right in doing so. Corrupting the senses. Shaping the void. 
the initial idea for that is um, the concept of desperation with regards to uh, faith and uh, religious belief and why people uh, feel the need at desperate times to reach for that, to reach for that hope. Um, strangely I had in mind the juxtaposition between forced addiction and addiction through choice. Um, I don't want to paint too much of a broad picture of the song because I want people to take away what, what they want, but I know what it means to me and there are certain personal reasons which is why I'm really glad and really proud that that is the title track of our debut album.